Good morning or afternoon, wherever you may be watching this one. Joel Seach from Harbell Financial Group, Principal Advisor. I hope you are keeping healthy and well, uh, depending on which state you're in, whether you're uh, in lockdown or uh, going okay. Uh, in Victoria, we're uh, hopefully ticking along all right at the moment. Uh, just a quick update uh, in relation to uh, the markets. Markets have ticked along quite well the last uh, few weeks or a few months really, uh, with a bit of volatility, a bit of up and down. Uh, the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, just its cash rate announcement yesterday, uh, it held at uh, the 10 basis points, which is the, the lowest levels we've, we've seen in history um, of the uh, the cash rate, which is effectively what the lending rate is um, from the Reserve Bank of Australia out to the, the banks and institutions. Um, they're, 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 I guess, believing that they're going to maintain a lower rate um, until uh, around 2024. Um, the market's factoring in about six rate uh, increases uh, up to that period at some stage. Um, the RBA is feeling um, like they're going to be measured off mainly inflation, which is the cost of goods uh, and wage growth are the two things they look at. So they like the inflation rate to be hovering between two and 3%. Uh, consistently, and they want to see data on that, not just a, a transitory blip uh, in inflation, which we're sort of seeing at the moment that inflation rates um, are a little bit higher than they usually are. So inflation, um, because of a lot of backlog of cost of inputs from the past year of the pandemic and the supply chain being interrupted, we've seen a bit of a spike in some of the inputs um, around the economy. So such as example, building materials are a lot higher at the moment, used cars are a lot higher, uh, and that's some supply chain things. So that's inflation. So they're keeping an eye on the inflation rate and they want that to be uh, some, some uh, time period of inflation hovering between two and 3% before they look at raising interest rates or the cash rate and also wage growth. They wanna see consistent wage growth as well. Um, they're the two main things they're looking at. The other thing they have been doing is they've been bond purchasing. So sort of their version of uh, the QE program. So they've been buying uh, bonds from the market, uh, government, uh, governments uh, in Australia put bonds to the market to raise capital, which they repay back at the end of the period. Um, so the, the RBA has been buying bonds to be able to help stimulate a bit of money into the economy, into the market and get money flowing. Uh, so that they've uh, just looked at, they'll, they'll start to decrease um, that um, over a period of time and just uh, lower that down a little bit. Um, but they're still expecting, yeah, um, 2024 um, for uh, interest rates to sort of be uh, coming back up again. So keep an eye on that. There'll be more news to come. The RBA meets um, the first Tuesday of every month. So no doubt that'll be a, a constant thing to look at. Um, obviously, they mentioned house price growth and just growth assets in general. Shares, house prices have been uh, growing quite well. So that's the thing they keep an eye on also. So um, just wanted to give you an update with uh, regards to the markets and just more broadly, the Reserve Bank of Australia. Uh, the only other thing to note at the moment uh, is just in relation to pension payments. Some of the pension providers that we have um, have 27 fortnights this uh, financial year. So you, if you have received an adjustment in your pension payment, that would be the reason for it. Um, so feel free uh, to give us a call if that's your circumstance and we can chat about the options you may have. Um, it's the same annual amount, but it's just broken into 27 payments per for the fortnight. Um, some pension providers have 27 fortnights in the cycle. Um, some won't, some won't be a change at all, but um, yeah, each, each person just check. Uh, it uh, affects uh, everyone individually differently depending on which pension provider you are with. Apart from that, uh, any other questions you may have, feel free to reach out as always to us here at uh, Harpel Financial Group where uh, we're on deck um, and we'll catch up with you for uh, annual planning reviews and mid-year reviews as we progress through the year. Um, and yeah, don't hesitate to, to yell out if you have any questions and most importantly, keep, uh, keep healthy well and keep safe uh, wherever you may be in Australia at the moment. Um, and yeah, we're only a phone call away if you need. Take care, bye for now.